Welcome back, everyone. All right, to more. Let's play the Organ Trail. I'm, of course, the Black Shadow. And uh, we've been journeying up the uh, west coast of the U.S. for uh, some time now. And um, the safe haven is in sight. We've had a funny old travel through uh, the States. Um, and we've been pushing through um, some nasty radiation here. Um, probably to L.A. and... Um, uh, gold clubs and redwoods and now we're on for the final course of getting to the safe haven unfortunately our situation is fucking bad radiation is plaguing us we're in desperate need of health we don't have any med kits and velvet's thrown away 83 I think we're gonna lose people. I don't think we're gonna run alive. We'd have to trade and find some med kits and get lucky. <sighs> if you have radiation, it's gonna do it all the way through. I have to try and find some med kits. I'll pay anything for med kits. No one there. Fuck! <sighs> Push on. I mean, we're going as fast as we can. <sighs> Fall asleep and snores loudly. We're not going to make it. Like this. I have to. I have to try and find some med kits. I have no choice. I don't. That's eight. That's seven hours. I just don't think he's gonna make it in seven hours. It's too much. It's too much. I have no choice. Yeah, you see, nothing. Fuck. Sorry, Matios. Shit. All right. So what the fuck happens now? He's on full radiation, so I assume he's going to start taking serious fucking damage. I assume. Oops. I guess he's just going to start taking shit loads of damage now. Or does he just outright die? He doesn't outright die, in which case we're fucking going. And we're going as quickly as we fucking can. He's taking damage. Oh, the wagon's gonna be fucked as well. Come on! Go! Make it! No, colonists, what are you doing? People are dying! Go! Go! Mayos just got shot by a fucking bullet! Oh my god! Come on! No, the wagon's pretty fucked. I have to stop, I have to repair it. Repair this fucking thing. Right. I'm gonna repair it one more time as well. I'm just gonna make sure this fucking thing is not breaking down before we get there. There we go. Even I'm taking damage now. This is so bad. We have to get there. 
There it is! The safe haven! Zombie bits! Zombie bits are stuck to the undercarriage! No! Make it! We're there! We've reached the safe haven! Oh my god almighty, that was close! Shit now! I nearly died! Fucking hell! This is the safe haven apparently! Huh! Hey there! Welcome to Safe Haven! I let you in, but our power grid is down for maintenance. You need to power the bridge if you want to get in. There should be an old gas generator and some fuel lying around. Go gather it up and hurry! It looks like there's a horde heading this way. Yeah. So the Safe Haven does exist. However, getting into said Safe Haven is not going to be quite as easy. We must gather fuel and bring it back to the generator. You can carry two at a time. Your party will replace you if you fall. They will also provide covering fire from the station wagon. Shotgun. Wesker! <coughs> Apparently, we're going on a journey. So, yeah, so, we need to get hold of some gas and put it to the canister here. Our fellow survivors will help defend the... Um, Defenders, if we need to, so we can bring the zombies towards us and they will shoot down. Right, let's go get us some fucking fuel and let's not die, shall we? Some ammo around, fuel dotted around over there. Very nice. Of course, we can only carry two at a time. Run, Wesker! Use your super speed or something. Are you really getting... You're going to say you're getting held down by gas cans? Come on. Right. Fuel those up there. Let the, uh, get some cover fire from the survivors there. Lovely. I should probably be using the pistol, not a shotgun. But that's a thing I've decided to do. Right, let's go quickly as we can here. The longer we spend, the more danger we're in. Ooh, more ammo over there. Oh, fuck. This is bad. Don't want to be going too far away here. Kind of little choice there. It's a kind of nice little thing, this, um, I am aware that in really early version of this build, there was like, you just get the safe haven, I think that's it. But gradually as time has gone on, more and more has been put on of things to do, which is nice. Anyway, so we'll stay here. I don't think this counts for any ammo. Yeah, we get to keep ammo here. Um, that's good. Just hang out here for a moment. Come on. There we go, right, let's go again. I don't know if we can take any hits. I get the funny feeling, I can't take hits. Go on, Wesker. Time for you to... Oi! I see you there. Time for you to um, do us all a favour. Right, one more gas can, it's up there. Okay. Long as I know. Run! Right, so it's up there. It's quite a long way away. There's not much I can really do about that. One more can. Nice. Right. <coughs> Oi, someone shoot him, thank you. I don't know if radiation's really gonna screw me over much anymore now, but it's still not great that it's there. You just die. Just go. Oh yeah, all the radiation guys are coming in now. I'm just shooting these fucking things. Oh, 
they're all radiation. Oh, this is bad. Go! There we are! Oh, he fucking came from the top of the screen, the cheeky bastard! Let's get the fuck out of here! Just radiation everywhere. It does eventually clear up, by the way. It takes a little while, though. Run, Whisker! Freedom awaits us! Freedom and safety! Yay! We start the generator and enter the safe haven. Very nice. Except... We haven't won quite yet. Um, I do believe... Normally this is where it would end. But this is the complete edition. And um, I am aware that... Uh, there is one more thing left for us to do first. We haven't won quite yet, folks. We try and enter. And this fucking thing turns up. Yes, folks. That is a giant squid. Yes, folks. That is evil things trying to annihilate us. We gotta fucking kill this thing. I don't know how it got here, but it did. But this thing needs to die for us to win. And I can see there's a bit of colour health there, so... And we need to hit the actual main squid here to do some damage. Like that. Also, keep the um, things away, of course. Luckily, we've got... Oh, shit. we got all the ammo we need in the world. There is uh, infinite ammo now at this point. What the fuck is this thing? Getting lucky with these uh, tendril things here at the moment. There's the front door. Motherfucker. I'm gonna murder you! Fuck you! Oh shit. There we go. Ah. No idea how much health this dude's got, but uh, apparently a lot. Oh shit, no, don't do that, Sean. That's a terrible idea. Oh. Die! Oh, there's tendrils coming everywhere. I missed. Oh shit, I missed again. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. No! Leave me alone! Evil bastards! Oh fuck. Game makes us use the rifle for this, which is a thing. Yes, he's dead! We killed him! It's all over! We've entered the safe haven! We've survived! Thank goodness. Woo! Victory! Damn. And here's our stats. Supplies, not much. Total score of 20,652. Four healthy party members. Uh, colonists, unfortunately, did get infected, so that cost me some money. Stage of micro conditions above 50%, little bonus for that. And you can see a few supplies here. Wow, we've started running out of bullets pretty heavy at the end. Maybe we do have ex only a limited amount of bullets. I don't actually know. I don't actually know. 304 hours spent on the road. That's not too bad. That means we, you know, it took us, what, two and a bit weeks to travel across the United States? Do a big U? I don't think that's too bad. That's pretty good. <coughs> Anyways, we win. And everyone managed to survive, which I must admit, I wasn't sure it was going to happen. I nearly died at the end. Pitiful amount of health. But we did make it. Nice. We've unlocked a new car. We've unlocked some tombstones. And we have unlocked glorious victory. we murder these guys? We can do. We can actually attempt to kill these guys. Very sweet. Well, there we go, folks. The Organ Trail. <coughs> <coughs> oh, dear. 
assuming I don't die. Come on for you, Ben Crossbones! Yeah! <laughs> but yeah, it is an awesome little game, folks. It's, um, it is really enjoyable. Um, I think it's pretty great. Um, and it's just a nice little uh, nice little blast, you know. I love the art style. Um, and yeah, it's a it's a nice, interesting little take on the usual, um, you know, the old, um, you know, the old Oregon Trail itself. I think it's pretty sweet. I'll show off the credits, because I always do, my LPs. I'll show off the credits at once. In a wheelchair? Oh my god. I feel almost bad for doing that. Uh oh. No! The undead! They're everywhere! No! No, I can't murder them all! Damn it, some of you are gonna get lucky. You got lucky, Scotty Two Hots! Two Shots. Two. whatever the hell your name is. You as well, Joey Manso. Lucky dude. <coughs> My dear old mum. Yeah. Of course, this is not the end of our time uh, with um, the Oregon Trail. As I said, I'm looking to do at least one more run of this game. Um, I'm very, very intrigued in um, having a crack with the survival version of this game. Um, which is known as Endless Mode, which um, rather than just tasking of getting um, from uh, DC to the safe haven, instead the task is to basically just travel as far and long as you can. Which is not easy, mind you. It's pretty tricky. Um, and uh, I don't know how well I'm going to go with. I mean, I'm pretty happy that everyone made that for a first run. It looked pretty bleak for a while. Uh, we saw some, some pretty weird, crazy shit, but uh, I think that was uh, pretty entertaining nonetheless. <coughs> Assuming I don't keep trying to die. Oh, of course, a ton of Kickstarters here. You can all die. So what you get for kickstarting. You become zombies and become undead and you lose. Get mown down by my brilliance. Yeah. Take this, David P. Whitsworth the third. How do you figure that? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, folks, um, yes, yeah, so I will be doing an, an endless run of this game. I'll, of course, be picking four new survivors uh, to join me um, to see if they can make it through um, survival mode. Um, spoiler alert, they're going to die. <laughs> um, we're all going to die, everyone. We will not survive. It's a question of just how far can I make it. In order to, I'm to make it a bit more interesting, I am going to bring up onto suicide difficulty. We were taking on the hardest difficulty possible, which should make it a very interesting little journey. And we'll have to see how far we make it. Um, when they'll be going up, I'm hoping it'll be going straight up after this release sort of um, the next day. So we'll have to see how we go. This is a lot of fucking Kickstarters. Oh my god. Well, it's good to see, I suppose. Brandon motherfucking Kirkman. <laughs> Very good. My sister calls me a dog boy. Wow. Some pretty amazing names in the midst of all this. Um, so yeah, certainly. So that will be um, starting up hopefully tomorrow. Um, the survival run. So I'll be picking... I will be picking four new survivors um, out of the list I've got. I've got ten names, I believe. Four will be chosen. Um, and we shall have merry times before it all inevitably ends badly. Whether I'll do another actual campaign run of this, like on Suicide, I don't know. It's tempting. I might well do. Um, I might consider doing like a... Um, another campaign run but I might do like uh, putting like some kind of condition because you guys know I love doing like condition runs all that sort of thing uh, might put in like like no scavenging maybe or like you know uh, uh, I don't even know no med kits maybe I don't really know I mean there's certainly quite a few different things you could do 
uh, in regards to um, in regards to things like that, little conditions and bits and pieces you could do. If anyone's got any ideas that might be interesting, throw them at me. I may or may not accept them. I have to see what I make of them. But uh, yeah, I think it's quite an enjoyable game. And whilst I'm sort of still spending a bit of time um, having to sort out things on this end, uh, you know, it's it's good in the same of um, I imagine the small run will take us through probably till like basically more or less the end of the month, I would reckon. Unless it goes really badly. Which, it's suicide difficulty. It ain't boss. It is totally possible. The end. We made it. Glorious and fated victory. I think. Good stuff. So yes, folks, so next time we're going to be taking on Endless Mode, um, which does run a little bit differently selection-wise as well. Um, and we are going to be seeing just how far I can make it in the apocalypse. Thanks to everyone who put the names on board uh, for the list. Uh, congratulations to um, Velvet, Colonus, uh, Matios, and Wesker for surviving. Um, although it's not looking pretty bleak. If we'd have gone on much longer, I don't think we'd have made it. It was pretty close. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.